Greetings, Jedi Traders. David here of TradingFibs.com to bring you the daily trend for May 25th, 2016, a week 21 of the year. As always, please seek financial advisory when trading with your money as these videos are for educational purposes only. Support your knowledge in the market. See what's going through my head on any given day. Always make sure you have a solid trading plan and always manage your stop when placing a trade. All right, let's get right into it. Today being Wednesday, trading session focus for Wednesday. There we go. Scroll up. There we are. Two markets, two setups, 53 ticks. Not a great day. It's uh, pretty much a uh, little bit of extension from yesterday's price action. And you all remember that nice, wonderful Hall of Famer day. I don't know if we'll ever see one of those again. But anyway, price extension a little bit overnight, and we got a little another pop, so offered us a little opportunity. And there weren't that many setups today, so being very tactful and precise, uh, only putting 53 ticks in the bag. But ticks are ticks, and trend is trend, and uh, keeps you out of a lot of the uh, chop. There was uh, actually the trend number one in the morning session uh, with the ES, so we'll take a look here at the charts here in a moment, ES and YM. Uh, the NQ was downside, but it was trend number two here. Uh, after European close, there it was, buy signal, being precise, uh, being uh, disciplined, being patient. There it is, buy signal to the upside. Now, again, this setup, uh, the, these candles here, you might not notice. You got to look a little bit closer. You can see the time frame. Uh, 11.47 was the setup and really didn't start going until an hour later. So you're watching, you're watching, and then eventually all things lined up. So the entry was actually a little bit later. And there it is. NQ uh, lifts up and a D line was upside and bang, right to the upside. Taking a look at the economic data for the session. Price action on the uh, forefront here uh, was on the MBA mortgage applications as well as international trade, but it was surrounded by the EIA petroleum crude report. We'll take a look at the crude here in just a moment. All right, let's jump right in. Actually, let's take a look at the AD line today. Advancers and decliners is price action again. Price action to the downside. Uh, the NQ flowing with the AD line. Again, this is a 10-minute chart. Shifted down to a 1 to 3 minute chart for the beginning of the session. Increase it to a 5 and eventually a 10. But here you can see, for the most part, the first 10 minutes of price was downside. Actually, first 20 minutes, and that was your NQ setup. Uh, unfortunately, the YM and the ES were going the other direction. Uh, but eventually, all things caught up to the upside, and we bridged pretty much. You see, hung around the pivot for the majority of the session. Let's jump right into the daily trend, taking a look at the five minute charts, taking a look at the price action on the crude. Again, staying pretty much within the zone. There's the 25 minute open range high here by the green line and 25 minute open range low, breaking out a little bit to the downside. But again, that's all pre crude report right here. Came downside. Why downside? Whatever. Taking off crude report. Not in the greats uh, as. Um, the uh, forecast was way off, and uh, we had a decrease in the amount of barrels uh, produced, so price action, uh, you think, would come back up. Well, it took a while, and eventually we did pop back upside above the range. Finish out here at the right, the cam high right there. Take a look at the other three indices. ES, again, chopping for the most part in between the one-hour open range high and 25-minute open range, throwing a little bit of value area, and you got yourself a pretty much inside day. Uh, we broke above the Globex high here on the YM and pretty much sideways. Same picture here on the YM as in between the one hour and the 25 minute open range. Breaking above the Globex high here and same picture on the NQ here. Right up to the average high and inside the uh, globe, uh, right above the Globex. Uh, Do we hit any of those daily Fibonacci levels? Let's take a look at the uh, projection levels. Wrong chart there. There we go. And Q here on the left, uh, city much, pretty much when you got an inside day, you're most likely not going to hit those Fibonacci targets. But uh, YM successfully, there it is, breaks up above and actually settles right below. And I believe it was the ES almost, right almost to the T here. 209225. Check it out by a hairy chin chin right there. Taps it and comes down. Nice move on the Fibonacci projection levels. Let's jump right over to the daily trend charts. Take a look at the crude, starting with the crude here. There we go. Price action again, pre 
pre-crude uh, results. There it is, price action uh, quickly to the downside on the re uh, crude release. Uh, once uh, price action finally uh, chopped sideways and realized that uh, the report wasn't that really good, uh, price action uh, eventually shifting to the highs. We'll take a look where crude might be heading uh, in the next couple days based on the technical momentum. So again, pre mar pre again, here I apologize, here's pre uh Here's pre-market uh, a release of the numbers. Here's the uh, number release and then uh, price action uh, coming down. Nothing really in trend here. It took for the afternoon session. Three charts in the green. Pops above the T350, above the 50 EMA and to the upside. So that was the better of the moves on the crude. Again, it took a while for the 50, uh, 144 to catch in trend. That was around 106, which was just slightly after the sells of the buy signal here breaking upside above the t3 moving averages nice move on the crude really only in the afternoon ym there it was on the breakout right from the right from the get-go once again breakout play as we had yesterday and never looked back never really got an opportunity once you're up at these highs uh it's uh you know you want to get back in well there was a little bit of resistance up here you go back to your five minute chart but there was no real major move back to the upside. You might have been caught, but again, resistance, uh, find support here at the T350. Again, another buy signal on four charts in the green, but here we are mid-session. Things weren't moving that quick. Uh, and that was the uh, pretty much 5144 holding to the upside on the YM as well today, as we did yesterday. NQ, there it was. NQ, if you take a no, let's go back for a second. Take a look at the Y, uh, that's the Y on 154. Let's go to there. All right, there's our NQ. There's our YM. You'll notice price action on the YM is what? Is moving upside. And the NQ is moving downside there at the beginning. And that was matching our AD line. So two good entries to the downside on the NQ after resistance here at the T350 and moving downside. All right, AD line was downside. You can take a look here on the charts. Price action to the downside pre-market. A little bit of chop here. And then eventually the NQ following suit. A little bit of chop, pull back, and bang. There it was. That was the move we were talking about on the NQ to the upside. The remainder of the session, three charts in the red. Again, sell signal to the downside. Very quick on the NQ here. He might not have gotten it. It was uh, four charts quick, quick, quick. And then the rest of the session, two charts in the green. Uh, four charts in the red, very end of the session here, nothing exciting, I might as well sit out as price action, that's right, just go back to your five minute charts, you saw where you were, you're right here at the 25 minute open range, NQ is right at the Globex high here, so no interest at the end of the session. Take a look at our last two charts, the ES, same picture, our price action at the beginning of the session uh, was take off from here, found a little pullback, buy signal to the upside right there on the ES, that was the move of the session, early entry. Uh, price action here again 50 above 144 and pretty much consolidation here throughout uh, East Coast time uh, lunch hour and for most of the session uh, we didn't really move that much uh, well too far from the 5144 we got that 5144 pretty much uh, hugging each other you're not going to get much runaway trend sell signal in the afternoon on the ES uh, to the downside as you had three charts in the red all right, taking a look at the daily gaps uh, with 100% guarantee, Jedi traders, I will commit to saying that price action eventually will will come back down and close out. That's right, we have three three open gaps there on the ES now, starting at 27.725, all the way down to 39.75, including all the way down into the 1860s. Can't even keep scrolling there. That's right, price action all the way open gap downside, but. For the immediate uh, future here, hopefully within the next uh, day, two, or week, I mean, we might come down and close this up. But right now, trend is upside and leaving daily trends, uh, leaving open gaps be below YM with two, NQ now with one here at 48.75. Uh, take a look at the crude. Crude again popping up here today, 49.70. Hey, I'm looking at 50.33 as the next level upside as far as key lines in the sand. Yes, we have open gaps down below 46.43, including uh, to downside. Let's actually open that up a little further. We got one up here at 55.41. 
and all the way down 4024 and 3790 yes crude eventually at some point will make its way down but for now we continue to climb so what's continuing to keep that climb well we got to take a look at the daily big pick outlook here in a moment taking a look at the vpoc volume profile again vpoc 600 day represented by the gray and the shaded green here we pushed above here on the ym pushed above on the nq as it's way down here 4290 ES down here, 2074.50, mark it on your charts, and crude as she continues to move up. 600 day VPOC downside at 4570. It will at some point become the magnet for price action to come back down, which will again match up with, that's right, daily gaps downside. And what else? Taking a look at the daily big pick, crude. We're not going downside, we're going to continue to move upside. So whether it's the daily gaps, or whether it's key lines, levels, or whether it's Fibonacci, whatever it might be, the daily big pick shows that the crude here now in an upward trend as it continues upside with even a higher level up here with the Fibonacci extension, 55.75. That's right, we just saw that number somewhere. Where was that? Fibonacci extension and an open gap up here at 55.41. So probability that we continue to the upside looks bigger and better as we hold up on a huge open gap here on the 51.44 and we continue upside. Now, four hour chart, today's session, indecision followed by a nice buy bar here not in trend yet we'll have to watch the overnight session to see if we'll continue this now if crude is unable to hold up here at this level and retreats back down to maybe some of these 5200 daily smas or if price action were to follow downside and retrace on a pullback watch for support at the 50 ma but right now technical momentum remains to the upside all right finishing up with the three major indices as we hold above the 50 and the 200s all the way across we never looked back uh pr low prints there on monday as we headed into thursday and friday session price action a little bit leveling out how yes it's been a while look at that t3 moving average is now to the upside 50 holding above the 144 so technical upward trend crossover uh, we'll see price action follow through. Do we just pretty much chop T3 moving averages here on the four hour YM as well? Still in a downtrend. We'll watch to see over the next overnight and day session to see if we have a crossover. If we have a crossover, always watch for the pullback to these key moving averages and to hold that trend upside if we break back down below these moving averages uh, watch for this uh, uh, pullback rally to fail but right now we're still an upward trend all you got to do is keep your eyes on the charts on the intraday on the intraday to uh, enter into anything long as far as any opportunities on ETFs etc on the indices we are still uh, on an upwards trend I would prefer to wait for a pullback find the support and then uh, take each individual chart and see if there's a re-entry to the upside all right, looking at tomorrow to the economic outlook. Uh, we're looking at uh, Fed speakers uh, both ends, uh, both early morning and afternoon. Taking a look at the pending home sales. We got two Red Star events. Again, we're leading into contract rollover pre-holiday weekend. We got GDP on Friday and... Oh, yes, it doesn't matter. It's the Fed speaking and Janet Yellen on Friday. So expect uh, the market to still move around her speech. All right, that concludes an insight into the indices in crude and the daily trend. Feel free to stop by tradingfids.com or any of my social media outlets to obtain more information. My mantra, one simple strategy, any market, any chart, any time frame will keep you disciplined. You can find me every day on Twitter at TradingFibs. And as always, I leave the crystal ball to the experts. I only trade what's in front of me and on my charts. And as always, leave your bias at the door when trading. Always trade the charts just in front of you. Have yourselves a blue zone day wherever you may be. Good day, good night, and good trading.